Hi, my name is Beth Riley and I am with Keller Williams and the Flamingo Group. And today I'm going to be showing you this lovely house at 7710 Bush Lake Drive. Let's get to it. So this is the view outside the front door. Nice little porch. Everything's super green and well taken care of. Here's the front of the house. And you can see a lot of the outside pictures on the internet already. Let's talk to Dan and he'll tell you about this location and what it has to offer. Mr. Burling. Greetings. Could you give me a little idea about what this location has to offer? Yeah, the big draw to this side of Bloomington particularly usually is uh, Highland Park. It, uh, if you're familiar with it, it has miles and miles of trails, ski trails. It's got a, the ski hill at Highland Hills, and uh, it's very expansive, very big for hikers, bikers, uh, just a real draw to the west side here. And that's within just minutes uh, of, of this home. Also, uh, location-wise, this home to downtown, if you're working downtown, it's just a little over seven miles downtown, about 11 minute drive, and that's, uh, that's unbelievable. Again, a draw to this side of the river versus uh, south of the river. A lot of people come over here because of that access. Um, Mall of America is 22 minutes away, and uh, the airport's about 20 minutes. So uh, the access is, is really key. We're not too far from 169. Very quiet area over here, though. We don't have the highway noise that you're going to find with other communities. So again, it's Highland Park, easy access downtown, mall, airport. It's a wonderful location and a beautiful home. Great. Let's check out the house. Okay. So this is a nice foyer area. If you can tell that it has all the hardwood floors. It comes right into this lovely foyer area and the two-story ceiling up into the chandelier. Right there, the opening is the office with furniture that's custom made for that space. This is the dining room to the right. And then also the family room to the left with a TV in it. It also has the glass shelves, or I'm sorry, glass doors. So you can see the transom along with the nice doors. So they have some nice custom built features. In this part of the house, it also has the wood trim, the white wood trim. Let's just walk through and see what the dining room has. The dining room is quite large. It does have a bump out right there for the window and that also creates a great environment to be able to pull this table out further. They can get up to 10 to 12 people sitting for a formal dinner with a chair rail. So it's, it's really, really a nice setting. Great for a family or for entertaining, I guess I should say. All right. It does have a half bath right here off the foyer. And it comes into this, the living room with all custom bit, built cabinetry, gas fireplace, overlooking the outdoor pool, man-made decking, screened in porch, kitchen. It's a nice white kitchen with stone countertops. Really bright natural light coming through with the corner window. Gas stove with a gas oven and of course the microwave above it. And then over on this side there is another oven. Lots of built-ins throughout the whole um, kitchen. So not only do you have plenty of countertop space, you also have really nice storage space. Also on this level, just to walk down a little bit, also on this level is the laundry. So the laundry is right off the door from the three-car garage. The garage has an epoxy floor it is uh, insulated. Three car has plenty of room. 
why don't we go upstairs now and just check out the upstairs. If Again, if anybody has any questions, please put it in the chat box so I can see it, and I'll be glad to answer it as we go. It's a classic two-story home, again, with a big open foyer when you come in. Let's check out. I can hear my Minnesota voice. Check out. Out. Um, so here's the office. Again, this is, they have the uh, furniture built for this office. It has, again, another bay window or um, built-in window and the overlook. Okay. Here's the, it's not quite a Jack and Jill. It's just a basic two sink with a door to the potty and the shower. Bedroom with a really nice private view. Uh, also, these have built-in closets, so it's a nice little walk-in closet right in the bat, the bedroom here. Hurricane shutters throughout, as you can see over the front door there. And then here's the other bedroom. Again, nice private view. Let's go into the master bedroom. Tons of nice light here with the two windows. And they just remodeled this bathroom, I believe, 2007. So it has the dual sinks and they're, of course, countertop height. And then on this side, it has um, his and hers closets or dual closets. Let's say that's it. And then it has a separate tub and shower. And the shower is really nice, oversized shower. Oops, a lot of reflection there. And it's a nice soaking tub. Very private, so you can look out the window here. And it's a deep soaker, so if, if you're a bather, like to read a book and sit in the bathtub, this place is for you. Let's go outside. Just a couple points to uh... Nine foot ceilings throughout, ten foot in here, and then there's the southern exposure, yes. main window, east, and then eastern on this other one. So this is going to be bright, particularly winter time. Shall we go outside, check out the pool, and the screened-in porch? You. Could you open up the screen mm -hmm. dim porch, please? I think this will be the end of the tour after this. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll go back and sh show you. Otherwise, it's uh, I'll start out here. It's a 12 by 14 inch, uh, sorry, foot screened in porch. Lots of nice vegetation. Has a fire pit out in the yard. 
they've done a great deal of landscaping with these boulders and uh, separating out the backyard. Okay. So let's go out. Man-made decking here, which is nice. So this is above ground. It is uh, 24 by 16. Really nice, um, relaxing, quiet. As you can tell, we're doing the video now, so you might hear one car. Also the back of the garage, right here. So you have a nice, you can come from the garage right in here. Sure, I can show the basement. Um, and let's go in there. Oh, and it's five feet to three feet. It's not a real deep pool, although, you know, when it's 96 degrees out or whatever it was the other day, felt like 600. Good we didn't get locked out. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so let's go in the basement. They have a nice workout area, a sewing room, and the fifth bedroom is downstairs. So let's check it out. Oh, I think all the appliances in the kitchen have been replaced in the last five years too. This seller is a quilter, so she really likes to quilt. Lots of nice natural light for sewing, art, hobbies, whichever you like. So this is kind of a nice area for her. Um, all, sorry? I was gonna say garden level windows and again, south and eastern exposure. Very bright. Yeah, it's nice. Um, let's just, I know there's a lot in the storage room, but I just want you to see how large the storage room is. I think this is a 15 by 14 space. So, a lot in here already, but you know, you can always have more, right? Okay, and the three quarter, this is a three quarter bath. With the shower. Six panel wood doors throughout, and depending on where you are in the house. They do have a white trim with the white doors, uh, just a little more storage underneath the stairs there, kind of a pantry. And this is the large fifth bedroom. If you have a teenager or maybe a young 20s person living in this, it's sort of a nice option because then you get to have their space and you get your space so it, it's really works out well and down here is again it's all the six panel doors if you look over to my right you can also see that this is their workout area so big into biking obviously being near highland and then there's the tv area down here Well, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Um, I always like feedback, so feel free to either text me, email, or you know how to do the little comment thing. Thanks for your time. I'm going to go over to Instagram. I'll do another one at the, of that, and I might do this again if I get any other feedback that somebody wants to see again. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.